Here's, here's to Salt Lake, here's, here's, here's to Frankie. Frankie, 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 Frankie with, with us. us. Back Frankie. with us. Austin Naples with us. Woohoo! Yes. You! Uh, you want to hear this <coughs> fucking ghost, ghost story? Yes. Well, to tell be, us this, to tell be us. fucking clear, like, I, I do believe in ghosts. I don't fucking like them. <laughs> <laughs> talk in her sleep and she was going Justin Justin there's someone <laughs> and I was like and I'm heavy asleep and I'm like what she's I'm like what I'm like you're fine you're fine like, Justin there's someone and I'm like what she's like Justin there's someone in the room <laughs> and I was like and we had this very long bedroom <laughs> and I, I'm like what and I kind of like open my eyes a little bit and I'm like what am I seeing? And I woke up like, <laughs> and I like jump up on the bed and like and I was screaming like this like power scream. <laughs> and she and then she like wakes up, she's like <laughs> and I'm like reaching for my phone, I'm trying to like keep my eye on this fucking figure and I like turn the flashlight on and I see it and I'm like fuck <laughs> and I see that she hung this fucking towel on the door <laughs> and it just looked like a figure in my like haziness and then she starts fucking laughing <laughs> yeah it was fucking insane Michael Bergfalk, um, and this is uh, Mercy Tattoo. Mercy Tattoo is brought to you by myself, Jake Miller, Mina Aoki, John Raftery, and Adam Gibson. We opened up in uh, September of 2017. All of us used to work together at a, a shop called Cathedral. We uh, closed that shop down and opened this up. We enjoy having guest artists come through our shop. We've got several rotating guest artists that are coming through every few months or so. When these guys approached us about coming out and doing the open road tattoo tour at our shop, we were uh, very pleased to, to be able to accommodate them. It's been a real pleasure meeting a couple of these guys I have never met before, so it's really nice being able to meet them and hang out with them for a day and do, do some tattooing. Frankie Caracoli. I work at Port City Tattoo in Costa Mesa, California. Started tattooing in 2003. Right time, right place, I guess. And a couple skate buddies and I happened to be at this house. They had the machine and I was like, well, you know, I, I used to draw. Maybe I should try do something myself. So I was the first person I tattooed. And then it just snowballed from there. Everybody involved in the open road I've met through Kings Avenue. I was working at Classic Tattoo at the time, and I got a phone call from Juan Puente. We're more on the acquaintance side, but you know he took a liking to me, and then he drops the bomb that, hey, Mike Rubendahl asked me if you would like to work at Kings Avenue, and I was like, are you fucking serious? Like, I wanted to say yes right there, but I was like, I'm about to get married. Got off the phone right away, called my wife, 
told her the news, and she's in the loop, she knows who's, who, she's like, well, if it's for real, then yeah, I'd be willing to move to New York. So I got off the phone and I just called him back right away. I was like, all right, we're moving to New York, we'll do it. Definitely owe Juan a big thank you. He's done a lot for me and I really appreciate it. Parker Duke. I'm in Salt Lake City right now at Mercy Tattoo, just here to get tattooed by Paul Doblman. Uh, I'm on paper, technically a professional snowboarder, however I do go to school for welding and that's what I spend primarily most of my time doing. I went out to San Rafael to Spider Murphy's uh, this last fall and got tattooed by Paul then and he tattooed my chest and so when I heard that he was going to be coming through Salt Lake, uh, I just gave him a shout instantly to try and get a spot. Today uh, I got a Rock Ages tattoo on my stomach. Dude, smooth. He's he's a pro, man. It's it, it's all just beautiful work. Very fine craftsmanship. The blacks are awesome. Even when he does color, the colors look so fucking good. Uh, I'm not really much of a connoisseur or anything. I just you know see what I see and I like it or I don't. And yeah, Paul is a really good tattoo artist in my opinion. He's awesome. <laughs> Big dick dog. Right. Big dog. Half of, we do half of that I get, I get to charity. Next bet. Well, no, you gotta give half of that to charity. Half of that to charity. Yeah. Two, all right. So yeah. we we all agree that charity is going to Not the little. shelter that yeah. we. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got yeah. 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 and I came all the way from Fairfield, Montana to Mercy Tattoo here in Salt Lake to get tattooed by Justin. I got a black and gray angel on my mid-back. No reason why, I just really like his angels. I'm really happy with it. My husband goes to Kings Avenue to some of the other artists there and he was always a fan of Justin's and um, told me that he was coming to town and it was a short little one hour flight from our house. So. We just made it happen and here I am. My dad is definitely the role model of my life. He definitely laid down the foundation that I follow um, without even telling me, just by doing it. He was a guy that was not scared of anything and wanted to see the world and wanted to just create in any way, music, art, whatnot. And uh, yeah, I, I learned all this by just watching. He never showed me or told me what I had to do or how to do it. And uh, yeah, I'm just following his footsteps. Thanks, Salt Lake. 
Salt Lake was the shit. Thanks, Mercy Tattoo. Mercy yeah. Tattoo. You guys are the Fucking best. Great. Paul Doubleman is also the best. Got a couple birthday hey, boys. All right you motherfuckers are the best. Got to hit the road. Going to Zion. Gonna open it up. It's gonna be fucking rad. <laughs> That's true. Open up. Open up the road. Open up the fucking road.